Hello, I'm Andrew. And I'm Vincent. In our last video that we shot, we looked at the Commonwealth omnibus issues with a view to doing another one just about the 1935 King George V Silver Jubilee and the 1948 King George VI Silver Wedding. So today we're going to have a look at those and go through the different basics and the more specialised aspects. I think um, it won't surprise any of you who watch us regularly that I consider that my favourite is the much more sophisticated and elegant of the two. Um, but uh, we'll let you uh, decide on, in the comments below whether I'm obviously right or Andy's right. OK, we're going to have a look under the other camera now. First of all, we've got the, the basic collection of sets ranging from Antigua all the way through the colonies, Antigua Ascension, Bahamas, Barbados and Basutoland. Most of the sets share this common design of the same frame with a changed country name with the, with the central vignette of Windsor Castle there. We'll just turn some of the pages so you can see some of the further colonies. They were printed by more than one printer for this issue and it, they provide a wealth of little varieties, some of which are listed in the Stanley Gibbons catalogues, but there's also more specialised handbooks and also a study circle. The well-documented major flaws are things like the extra flagstaff, the short extra flagstaff and the lightning conductor. But over time, more and more have been listed, including the, you know, the various dots. You get the, the log floor, the kite and all those kind of things. There's also two or three colonies which have very rare double one albino varieties, including Fiji and the Solomon Islands. We'll keep looking at the, the, the different... Too, isn't there? Is that you, get, you get the re-entry on the Falklands in the value tablet, yeah. So on we go towards the end of the Commonwealth, the Newfoundland, slightly different in it being monocoloured. No varieties on the Newfoundland either for that reason? No, no. The scarcest one there, of course, being the British forces in Egypt. That's the one that most people strive to obtain. And then the slightly different designs for some of the dominions of Australia, New Zealand and Canada. Papua New Guinea, Nauru and New Guinea all over printed their issues on current stamps. The British design there, which was commonly used and overprinted for Morocco agencies, the different currencies, and Tangier there. South Africa, these came in bilingual pairs, that's the way they should be collected. Southern Rhodesia, which I think is actually a nicer design, and India. That concludes that. And I'm just going to put another item under the camera, which is something rather special. Now here's something rather quite special for the Jubilee issue. This is the Great Britain penny design here in an imperforate tape mesh pair. Now this comes from a unique sheet that was held in the National Postal Museum archives of which some were sold off a few decades ago now. Very few are known and it's one of the lovely extras you can have to enhance your collection. And um, you can make an, an incredible study of these issues and over time there's been several uh, famous auction sales of just these issues so it just shows you you know how wide you can take the, the study of these you can also get you know postal history and blocks specimens proofs and so forth but you can build you know a general one of each collection you know fairly easily they, they printed uh, sheets up like that so they could split them up for booklet panes didn't they? yes that's right yeah and uh Yes, really, quite visually just stunning to see a, a tech bash. So I feel that my collection wins purely for the array of <sighs> varieties you can get. Can you get any on these? Let me just put this under the camera and we'll let the people decide. So here we are. Elegance personified. This amazing design produced just a few years after Andrew's 1935 Jubilee omnibus, but you can see the effect of fashion photography, which had taken off and become a fine art in the intervening years, showing up in this unique overlapping design. 
the issues again uh, followed on and in fact became more extreme from the 35 Jubilee with the large stamp, the high value of a set of two being a very high value and it does mean the entire omnibus set will cost you quite a lot of money. Uh, but there was a stamp for everyone and a stamp for those people who, who were prepared to pay a pound out for a Bahamas stamp in 1948. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can feast your eyes. There we have the Barbados five shilling, one of the lower values of that large design in the omnibus. Uh, two, I'll just move this here. Now you can see the British stamp but overprinted for Bahrain. Uh, once again, the British stamps used for quite a few of our post offices abroad. And I think the lack of varieties, the lack of inverted watermarks and wrong colours and missing flagstaffs and extra flagstaffs and flagstaffs stuck in the forehead, none of that rubbish with this. Pure elegance. So, what do you guys think? Please let us know. Thank you.